Hey everybody, I'm Isabel, and today I'm going to show you how to create a lot of volume using your blow dryer and Velcro rollers. You'll need a blow dryer with a detachable director nozzle, Velcro rollers. Remember, the larger the roller, the looser the curl, and since we're working on volume today, not curl, I chose big rollers. A round brush, roughly the same diameter as your rollers. Mousse. I'm using Got To Be Rise and Shine. Optionally, you can use roller clips. They're not strictly necessary, but they help keep the rollers tidy. And a finishing brush. I'm using a boar bristle brush, which helps to distribute shine, but you can really use any brush that you like. Start by working an egg-sized amount of mousse through your hair, focusing on your roots. Once that's evenly applied, you can start rough drawing your hair. You can see that I'm flipping my hair over while I blow dry it. This is because I want lots of volume. I'm drawing my roots in the opposite direction, the line when I'm finished. Flipping your head upside down helps a lot. Just make sure the airstream from your blow dryer flows along with your cuticle scales, not against them. Each strand of hair is covered in cuticle scales. The key to any shiny, healthy looking blow dry is to keep your cuticle scales lying as smooth and as flat as possible. Always keep the airstream from your blow dryer moving from root to tip. It doesn't matter which way you flip your hair, as long as your airstream moves from root to tip like this. If your air current runs from tip to root, you'll raise the cuticle scales, making your hair look dull and damaged. Once your hair is 80 to 90% dry, you can move on to the next step. Make your first section at the nape of your neck. Since this is a blow dry, not a roller set, it doesn't need to be perfect. Just make sure it's roughly the same thickness as your brush and your rollers. Now, I'm going to jump ahead for a minute to show you a closer look at how to blow dry each individual section. I'm jumping ahead because it's a little less awkward to show you how it works in the front. When I'm blow drying the section at the back of my head, my arms are in a difficult position and I can't see what I'm doing, so it's not the best for a demo. But what I'm doing here at the front is exactly what you do on every section of your hair, so it all applies. Before you turn on your blow dryer, give your section last brushing and roll it up tightly around your brush. Think about it like ironing a shirt. You wouldn't just throw a shirt on an ironing board and start ironing. You would need to make sure the shirt is pulled smoothly and tightly across the ironing board. It's the same thing with your hair. Make sure it's smooth and tight before applying the heat from your blow dryer. Start with the roots and make sure you get them completely dry. Roots are the foundation of your volume. If you fail at lifting and drawing your roots, the rest of your hair will fall flat. You'll want to keep a strong tension between your hair and the brush, but be careful to keep your hair in motion. If you wrap it up tight and then you just blast it, you might singe parts of your hair. Rotating the brush keeps your hair taut while encouraging balanced heat distribution. The rotation especially helps when you get to the tips. Once you're sure your section is completely dry, wrap it tightly around your brush and give that section a last blast from the blow dryer. Once your section is very warm, quickly replace your round brush with a Velcro roller. Since we're doing this for volume, not so much for curl, this can be kind of messy-ish. But it doesn't affect the end result as long as you work your hair properly around the round brush and you blow dry it, it'll be fine. Just make sure your sections are no thicker than the diameter of the rollers. 
you should end up with something similar to this. If your hair is long, you might find that the rollers don't tend to stay put. In that case, use a roller clip to lock your roll in place. If you don't have time to wash your hair and you just want a volume touch-up, you can pop the rollers into your already dried hair. The volume won't be as long lasting as if you did it from scratch with a blow dryer, but it'll definitely help and it only takes a few minutes. Remove the director nozzle from your blow dryer and then using maximum heat, minimum air, gently heat your rollers. Feel free to mist some hairspray over the whole thing. Once your hair has completely cooled, and you have to make sure it's completely cooled, this usually takes at least 10 minutes, you can start removing your rollers. Work from the bottom up. Give your hair a shake and tousle your roots with your fingers to break up the roller marks. And there you have it, bouncy, voluminous hair. This looks really great on long hair just as is, but if you're my length or shorter, you might want to brush it out a bit. Here you can see me brushing it over to the side and under for a bit more of a conservative look. Since I like mine to be a little bit looser, I just break it up a little bit with my fingers. And that's it. At home, super volume. Thanks for watching.